Hey gang, Epicurean Eye Relief is having a contest. He wants to know our top five comics. Here's New Mutants 87, the first appearance of feature film franchise luminary, if Disney doesn't put him on the shelf, Cable. And some may say, you can't have Josh Brolin play two parts in the same cinematic universe. And I say nuts to you. I want to see Cable fight Thanos. I want to see Foggy hit Happy. And I want to see Iron Man 2's Black Widow make out with Iron Man 2's Black Widow, but that's actually a a separate fantasy. Here's my beat copy of X-Men 94, which I drag out for all these top lists. It's all new, all different X-Men. And not just all new, all different characters. We're also not conning you with reprints like we have since 1970. I've told the tale of how I got this, but it's so great, it deserves a retelling with better audio. A guy who owns a store about 45 minutes away would set up at my local flea market. Who knows why, because it stinks. So the week before I got this, I was at his table and I had a few Wonder Woman comics that I got from a pile at another table. And he was like, oh, what have you got there? Did you find anything good? I figured he'd been to the other tables and thought that I had picked up something he had missed. Because when I told him about the garbage I got, he completely lost interest in me. So the next week, and I'm still shocked that I bothered going back the next week, that guy's not there. And I found out at his store that he wasn't going to go back because he was mad at his placement, like better placement at this crappy flea market would have made a difference. And there's a new table there and it's covered in junk, but it does have one big Tupperware thing with a couple of piles of comics. And it's all beat up non-key Nova and Star Wars and Captain Marvel. Just junk. But then I do find the first Dark Phoenix, which is shocking because you never see an X-Men in these piles. I passed on it because it was a little too ratty, but then I see this. And I grab a couple of other books to hide it while I dig for more. And of course there is no more, but I got this and two books to use as protection for $2 a piece. The next week, there's another new table set up. And he's got a few boxes of comics, not like comic book boxes, but just like random boxes. And I go through them and it's beat up non-key Nova and Star Wars and Captain Marvel. It's the exact same stuff I had gone through the week before where I found the X-Men 94. So if he had been there the week earlier, he would have got my X-Men 94. If the other guy had held out another week, he would have got my X-Men 94. It's a miracle that I have this bent as it may be. Here's Superman's ex-pal, the new Jimmy Olsen, 134, the first dark side. And I don't know what's more unbelievable, Jimmy wanting to ditch Superman for some pirate hippies, or pirate hippies wanting anything to do with Jimmy Olsen other than to dump salty bong water on him. Ooh, a new addition to my top lists. Not that I just got it, I've actually had it for like 20 years, but it's recently bounced thanks to movie news. Eternals number one. And civilians and even comic book fans may think, that's not exactly a well-known name, and they may have thought that about Iron Man, but at least he had a couple of cartoons under his belt. But I'm hoping Marvel pulls a Guardians of the Galaxy instead of pushing out an Inhumans. That's a feces joke, but I'm trying to keep it clean because one of the contest requirements is no profanity. And finally, here's New Mutants 98, which I won from Comics with Bueller, the first Deadpool. And you know, people like to say Deadpool's just a Deathstroke ripoff, and Rob takes credit for all the Deadpool ideas we know and love that were developed by later creators. But I think he had at least one concept in mind with this very cover. Because obviously this scene takes place not long after Deadpool got his lower legs chopped off and he's currently regrowing them. Because below his calves, his legs look slimmer than a 12-year-old girl's. So thank you to Epicurean Eye Relief. Thank you for this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. Oh, and also my favorite anti-hero is the Hulk. Depicted here, it is most vicious on a children's record. Most people chose the Punisher, but I've got to go with my favorite green jerk. And I swear, if they had Hulk hands when I was a kid, or even a teen, I would have gone through like 30 pair. As it is, I've only gone through about 8.